by Sweet Chalice, Idaho, a place that doesn't serve pasta. I hope I don't run into that on my way north, that white stuff. Just coming through the Chalice, Idaho Valley, heading up towards Darby, Montana. This is a section that's 154 miles of nothing into the Bitterroot mountain range. And as you can see, the dirt road in the distance, Climbing up. That looks absolutely miserable. There's no trees. Ah. And just when I was thinking, you know, probably should have chugged a bunch of water at the creek before I started climbing. I can see where the creek runs out, but <laughs> the creek has run dry. I'm literally just thinking that. And all of a sudden I hear a Jeep. They pull over and they say, would you like a bottle of water? It's ice cold from our cooler. And I said, Absolutely, I would love that. Look at this, 100% charged right before I left, even left it for another 30 minutes after it hit 100%, and it's at 91% battery on my Wahoo Element Roam. And this is why, because I'm coming to some steep sections, a couple of river crossings, you know, it's pausing. The pause is taking up a ridiculous amount of power. I could just take it off that. I do have a chargers, so I'm not worried about running out of battery. It's just that I've gone 10 miles. I've only been outside for, I don't know, an hour. The point I'm trying to make, I don't want to turn it off. I want to be able to use this $380 device and be able to have it go into the pause on and off mode and not totally eat my battery. I mean, we're going to the moon. Can't we figure that out? <laughs> I had to use that reference. Sorry. I've pretty much hike biked, except that long section in, in the front that looks kind of straight. Anyway, I'm all right now I'm on like a 13% grade. It's 55 pounds of weight wanting to roll backwards have my keen sandals on even though they slip like crazy. That's why I didn't want clipless because like I knew I'd be hike biking a lot and just never doing it before and my physical ability not up to par. And a lot of people aren't gonna understand what that means, the whole clipless thing. Why they didn't just come up with a whole new freaking name is beyond me. Cause it's like, it's still a clip fucking shoe. You clip your foot, your shoe into the clip in the pedal. You're still clipping in. The mood to rant about something, pushing my bike up this hill in the heat. I also just had an energy gel, so I'm kind of like, I need, some, I need something to talk about. <sighs> my Wahoo, I'm going so slow, is struggling. Are we moving or standing still? I can't tell. I think we're gonna have to hike a bike up to that ridge. Or maybe up there, I don't know. All I know is we need to go up. <laughs> Yes, this is my physical position because I'm using my legs. I'm kind of straightening my arms to push versus standing upright. I'm using more of my back. I'm kind of using my body weight to keep the bike forward up the hill and then I'm using my legs to push. Someone who knows about the body might be looking going, you are doing it totally wrong. But my instinct is just to go with what feels right and this is what feels right. Oh jeez, tired. Look at that. Do you see what I see? Probably not. See that road over there? That scares me. I hope I don't have to go up that. That's a long hike a bike. Please no. The way this is curving up, I'm going to say no, because I feel like I'm supposed to be going this way. Although I do see something up there. It's looking pretty serious. Onward. I just went up a 16% grade. So this goes down a little. I'm guessing it goes back up to that. Okay, this has really just turned into a hike bike. I reached the summit and I know that even though there wasn't a sign. Do I know why? Because I'm heading down right now, like really down. 15% gray down. I left around 10 a.m. around downtown Chalice, Idaho. I got to the summit, the top, whatever, where I just was uh, around 1230 and it was 13 miles, 2400 feet. As soon as you don't hear the creek anymore, you're gonna be like in trees going along, creek, creek, creek. As soon as you don't anymore, you need to get water. And then you're just in the hot sun on a dirt road, just going up, 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 up. Just be careful. It's time to say wee all the way down. 14 miles to the summit, not 13. 
why am I hike a biking again? Because I was wrong, it was a false summit. Where I did that video like 15 minutes ago, I was up in that little, those are short decline as you can see. And I'm back to pushing my bike up a 16% grade. It looks like maybe I'm at the top of something, but if you're on a mountain bike, okay, or if maybe you just have 15 pounds of weight or maybe 20 pounds, but my bike's 22, I think 0.7 pounds, and I have 35 pounds of gear on it. I don't know how to make it lighter. I even gave up my little uh, fuel container. I can't get rid of my solar panel. I'm carrying only just two liters of water, 154 miles of nothing. So I have up to seven days of food. Let's get rid of a tent and use a hammock. What if it started like pouring rain for three days and you're stuck in rain? I, I'm not, I don't wanna be in a hammock. I mean, it's beautiful out here. It's just that I'm feeling like as soon as I hit dirt, I was doing hike a bike. And if you're out where there's no water, this is the wild west route. This is considered a difficult trail. These are chosen by people as a bike packing route. And so maybe I'm confused somewhere and hike a bike is just part of bike packing. Cause I feel like it's 50%. I'm actually happy, I'm, it's beautiful out. I'm just wondering if, if this is really what it's just gonna continue to be. You roll down a hill, flattens out a little bit, then you push your bike up a few miles. I'll let you know how it goes. 15.7 miles, let's just say since the village in a restaurant in downtown Chalice, Idaho. I've climbed 2,845 feet. I think I'm at 6,800 feet and it's 96 degrees. It's 1.20 and I think I left around 10 a.m. Now I think it looks like I'm gonna go down, 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 but I said that last time and I did go down, 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 and then I had to go straight up again. So this is all I have to go by going down for 10 minutes. It's very rocky and slippery, but do you see this road now? It's smoother, but do you see this road? How it's going down? We're gonna to continue to go down. Do you remember earlier I showed that scary climb? Wondering if I was gonna to have to do that? And I think I am. And all I know is that is gonna fuck me up. <laughs> I'll have to reevaluate when I hit the bottom. I've only gone 17 miles and I have 154 until I hit Darby. Anyway, it sure is pretty out here. So still, I haven't seen one animal, not even a squirrel. There's that road that went straight up. There's another road that goes up. Guess what? I don't have to take either one of those. I'm so happy. I just came on a huge downhill. My hands are killing me because I have mechanical. Disc brakes are mechanical, not hydraulic. So you have to use more pressure, but anyway, I think I'm gonna go back to this stream I just saw. I'm at like almost 20 miles. I'd like to get another 30 miles out of the way. Anyway, yay! No more climbing. Have some snacks and to refill my water. See how you can see rich green? That's know where the water's running. This looks like some kind of an animal trail. There's a skull of something. Beautiful, beautiful river. Boy, would I love to just jump in there, but I need to keep biking. Oh, look, I have a grassy patch. How beautiful. Maybe it'll sit under this kind of semi bush tree. Boy, it's hot, 98 degrees. I have a hammer, electrolyte. Like if you're sweating a lot, that's what the white thing is. And then this is a noon. This is for hydration, replenishing you. So I'll add that, I'll chug a bottle with this in it, and then I'll just refill it with regular water. These Quest Bars I got just at a regular supermarket. I wish these companies would make like the chocolate cookie, but without the chocolate chip, because they always melt. They taste good, they don't weigh that much. 240 calories, 15 grams of fat, which is great, 21 grams of carb, and 15 grams of protein. And this is just great in the afternoon for a snack, biking, hiking, whatever. I recommend them. Just coming up this road and I saw this. I don't know what that is. Maybe somebody can tell by looking at it, but I can't. My first dead fur. <laughs> so why am I barely making any progress on this paved semi-flat road? Because I've had a headwind for 10 miles. Oh my gosh. I've literally been in a hunched position between pushing my bike up hills and now bent over. I can't get a break today. They're shading each other. And the one's tail is flipping, flies off the faces. Two facing me are smack, smack. And they have a system and it works. It's 5.15, I've gone 32 miles, 4,600 feet of climbing. And this is still climbing and it's like away from the water. The topography map, it's showing the lines. It's not 
showing the actual elevation. It's downloaded, so I don't know. I'd like to go for like another hour, but you know, this is the trade-off. If I keep climbing, first of all, it's gonna be colder tonight. There's a chance I'm gonna totally leave the stream, not necessarily leave it, but it could be down a cliff. And there's like a spot right over here. There's a little bit of water, a little bit of spot to put the tent. Yeah, I think I should just play it safe. I'll spend the extra time that I have trying to see if I can make a fire. <laughs> that says Morgan Summit. Looks like it does go down. I'm tempted to go down just for weather reasons, but I kind of found this spot right here. Almost every map type in Ride with GPS, even though they're downloaded, you zoom in, it just turns to graph. It's not helpful at all. I found a spot right there because I kind of want, I didn't want to be back in. This is here for people to hang their food, which is really awesome. It just makes me think that the animals maybe are trained that there's food here. What's odd, there's like no campfires anywhere. Maybe you're not allowed to burn up here. I do like all the tree trunks because they can use them as stools. I'm way over there. It's funny, I feel so weird having my food so far away from me. For raccoons or skunks or a possum, this is what the concept is to get it off the ground. Mouse can go up here. I'm torn because if none of those animals are gonna break into my bike pack, the food's inside the odor bag, inside my bike pack. I guess this would be a good test to see if it worked. This can't be for bears. A bear gets on his hind legs, he could totally reach your food. I keep obsessing over bears <laughs> because it's my one fear. I'm not really afraid of people. I was more afraid of grizzlies. You know what it's bringing me back to? King Kong, here is your offering. I feel like I'm offering food. Hello, I'm gonna hang it up here so y'all can see it and maybe smell it in the air. If you've never seen King Kong, you have no idea what I'm talking about. They were offering the girl up. They had to always give him a gift. It's so funny, I don't know why I'm so weirded out about like separating my food from me. But I could go right here in front of this pine. I just don't want to go down where they sacrifice food to the animals. And I have a straight view of my food. So that's what we're gonna do. I will not be cooking tonight because that whole food thing freaks me out. <laughs> I'm literally gonna take my tuna fish and my salmon and cross the road because I don't want any scent over here. And I know that sounds completely ridiculous because the scent will travel. <laughs> I just want it over there. I am so freaking freaked out by grizzlies. I don't think this is a high grizzly area. It's once you get closer to Canada. When you're scared of something, you're just scared of something. And, and, and I'm by myself. Now I'm totally like getting delirious. My instinct is telling me just not to stay here. So I'm gonna get back on my bike and hopefully this will keep going down and run into a creek where there'll be a spot where we can put the tent and I can rinse off. Three minutes down the hill is this stubs to sit on. There's a wire fence here. Beautiful view. Oh my gosh. See? I couldn't really explain it. I knew I was afraid of the bears. Not that they're not going to be here. And you know what else? Water. Oh, I can rinse my feet off, wash my hands. Look at how beautiful this is. Very happy. I feel very safe. The fancy brand. Don't you wish you were here to dine with me? This is like the flavor packet, since it's just going to boiling water. Not exactly dissolving, but it will. It'll just let it soak. See how they're like, it's kind of soft. I think they're like 40 cents more than the, the square crunchy kind. I'm debating whether to open this or not. I know the mosquitoes will go away once the sun sets. It's like going on eight o'clock, but normally that's what I would do. I would have the salmon with the noodles. Just got back from the little creek. Washed my clothes, left them down there on a log. There are a zillion mosquitoes. Do you see them all? This is how many mosquitoes are outside. My tent right now in this one little spot. After about 15 minutes, it's almost dissolved. Let's see how nice it is. 